Good morning, Verdugo Dons. Welcome to the Verdugo Rundown. I'm your host, Cynthia Osain. And I'm Katie Garmendia. Verdugo Rundown is where we talk about school events, activities, and bring the information that you seek. This program is brought to you by the Verdugo Hills Leadership for the Verdugo Dons. All right, so the second month of school is here. Didn't that go by super quick? Well, for seniors, if you're applying to UC's applications in November and you want someone to check your essays, well, the teachers have spoken. They're happy to help. Go ahead and hit them up on their school emails, of course. Link crew is finally saying their goodbyes as their last video comes to an end. They dedicated their whole summer to making the freshmen feel more comfortable at our school. A big thank you to Link crew. Mr. Henry and his committee heads put in their blood, sweat, and tears to help out the freshmen or any new students in general. Now they have a few words left to say. We have Abby with Senior Class President Aileen speaking about the topic. Hi, my name is Abby. And my name is Aline. And we are members of Linker and their production team. Um, we also held our online summer bridge about a week before school. And um, Aline, do you want to fill them in on Linker's future plans? Yeah, so Linker's future plans as of now is to work with leadership, to work on the newscast, and still involve the freshmen as much as we can to make sure that they feel connected to the school. All right, of course. Um, we're really proud of Link Crew and everything that we've done so far. Um, only any other words? Link Crew has been such a journey throughout summer, but I've enjoyed every step of the way. And I really hope you guys have enjoyed everything we've done. It's been for you guys and for all of you to become adjusted and uh, yeah. Yeah, and to any other people who are watching who aren't freshmen, um, you guys should join Link Crew. Thank you. Thank you. Due to COVID-19, LAUSD made a new schedule to help students fit comfortably and allows flexibility in their Zoom calls. Everyone had gotten a new class called Advisory, where the teachers would check up on us mentally and physically. And if we have any questions, then they have the answers. Well, we have Haley and Bella speaking to a few teachers and how they feel about the new schedule. Our first question is, what are some new methods you are trying out to make sure students feel comfortable around this new agenda? So with the distance learning and, you know, doing all of our meetings in Zoom, um, at first I was really adamant about, you know, everybody needs to, needs to be vocal, you know, in the classroom to, you know, ask questions. And I find students kind of don't want to do that. Um, uh, with distance learning or they're having a trouble doing that. So um, I'm having them uh, do a lot of chats, you know, putting the information on the chat. It's kind of nice because it's that personal touch. It kind of forces us to have that personal touch and, you know, that sometimes gets lost in a whole class setting. So that's one thing that I definitely do. Hi, Miss B, how are you? Today, we're going to be discussing the coronavirus and how it has affected your life as a teacher. The first question that we have for you today is how are you adjusting to the new e-learning schedule? Hey, hello there, Verdugo. How's it going? This Miss B, Mrs. Wilson. I'm doing pretty good. I don't have any complaints. Uh, I had to go back to Texas. My dad passed away. And so I started school with really weird stuff happening. No air conditioning in the house, no Wi-Fi, using my phone for a hot spot, having to Zoom while we travel across Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, California. 
uh, it's been very interesting. So, to tell you how am I doing, I'm actually doing okay. Hi, Mr. McCrary. How are you? Our second question is, have you developed any new teaching strategies while working online? Well, hello. I suppose I can share a few thoughts with you about the e-learning process and what it's like from a teacher's perspective. Uh, I'd say one of the biggest things is me and my other teacher friends that I've talked to really miss the classroom and we miss seeing you know people face to face uh, but in this situation trying to still have that connection with with human beings with, with students I'm finding the adjustment to be probably good for me because it, it's making me learn more technology it's uh, definitely uh, bringing a new challenge to an old teacher so I, I view the main goal as the same connecting with people so they can move on and do better and I think that's happening I think uh, this year we're just getting started we'll smooth out the bumps and, and make it a good productive year uh, I believe that uh, new teaching strategies and new learning strategies are are gonna help both the students and the teachers uh, get it done this year but I think attitude is always the most important thing but for me uh, setting up a routine trying to get up at the same time, convert my dining room to my new classroom. We're all making adjustments. And I think if we decide to, we can make this a good year, uh, regardless of, of these other situations. Some students must be having trouble with this new schedule, huh? If only someone can give us some advice. Well, um, it's a good thing me and Celeste are here. Need help adjusting to this new routine? Here's some advice. very dangerous for your academic career to be late to your Zoom meetings. Make sure to always be awake during your Zooms. <laughs> Too lazy. I'll play Minecraft. and wash your face to start off your day. Remember, start off by a healthy breakfast. Eat something. It's always important to have a clean environment so you won't get distracted while doing your homework. Don't forget to write things down so then you'll be prepared for the rest of the day. Try to complete your homework as soon as possible so if you have questions, you can ask your teacher. Don't forget to think positive. Next up, worldwide events that you should be informed about. I'm Natalie Bobayan, and for today's newscast, I'm bringing up a topic that has been surfaced across every social media platform. So as you may have heard, there have been fires occurring in California, like the one that took place in La Cunada Flint Ridge on the 27th of August. These fires just keep on growing, taking away lives of innocent people as well as their only source of shelter. But here's some good news for you. According to capradio.org, around 50,000 people have been allowed back home in the past two days as evacuation orders were lifted. These fires can cause major health problems, so whenever there's a fire near your area, the best option is to stay indoors and avoid the smoke. Well, unless you're told to evacuate. You know, if I need to go out if necessary, I want to do it in. Style. Roll the clip! Here we have Alondra with her cute apple mask, cute for her picking apple trees. Here we have Alondra R. I think those are peaches, but super cute, super vintage. Now we have Jaylene with her Louis Vuitton mask. Look at her go, yes. Now we have Bella, her sheer mask, gave me a little bit of the 80s vibe, super vintage. Now we have Michelle, this mask is super cute and unique. I can picture her picking out flowers in a garden. Look at Abby go with another Louis Vuitton mask. I can picture celebrities like wearing this, trying to hype and paparazzi. Look at Elena rocking those bangs with that black mask. Yes, I love it so much. 
And next up is Machisimo Brandon with that Power Ranger mask getting ready to save the day. Now we have David Marcos with that Nike mask, perfect for athletes. Or if you're not a big fan of Nike, we have that Michael Jordan mask that Alan is pulling off right now. The NBA, also known as the National Basketball Association, postpones the three playoff games to support the protests of Jacob Blake, an unarmed black man who was shot with seven bullets in the back. Many basketball players, celebrities, and influencers took off in the streets to voice their opinions, which lasted for three days. The Black Lives Matter movement has been going on for a few months, and now we have David and Brandon with a sports segment with more details within the topic. Hey guys, it's Brandon and David here, covering all your sports needs. Yes, Brandon, and today we'll be talking about the recent protests regarding the Black Lives Matter movement. As most of you have heard, most sports such as the NBA and MLB have been showing their support for Black Lives Matter by postponing their games. Yes. Due to the recent tragic events, there has been a burst of outreach, causing many protests against racial injustice. The NBA and the MLB have shown their support by taking part in these protests and representing this movement on their jerseys, shoes, and other clothing to spread their message. Many demonstrations have been shown throughout the years, starting with former NFL quarterback Colin Kaepernick in 2016, when he kneeled during the national anthem to spread awareness about the social injustice of police brutality. But this year, was a breaking point for most people. The Milwaukee Bucks decided not to play their playoff game against the Orlando Magic on August 27th due to the recent events involving Jacob Blake. Soon the MLB followed as they also postponed their games while leaving a Black Lives Matter t-shirt on home plate to show their support. Shortly after the announcement, all games were postponed and there was a meeting with the MBPA between players, coaches, and staff to decide whether or not they should resume the remainder of the season. The NBA then came to a decision to resume the season under these circumstances to establish a social justice coalition featuring representatives from all players, coaches, and governors, converting their team arenas into voting centers, and advertise the engagement of all local and national elections. Now a product review brought to you by Target. So, welcome to Target. <laughs> what are things high schoolers buy? Skincare. So, where are we at? Skincare routine. What would you need for a skincare routine? Face mask. What else do we need? Cleansers and also creams. But you gotta do it. So, you got eye bags just like me and really dark? Well, Pacifica Eye Bright Under Eye Vitamin C Spot Serum Mask with Vitamin C and Kelp Plus all skin types is here with the leave pretty anti-puff eye patches for puffy eyes just like mine <laughs> Ginger plus vitamin C fresh pressed sheet mask. Put that in the cart. And then we have this pretty one, pink. Beet plus vitamin A. Put that in the cart too. All for $3.50. That's a good deal. Use the Target app so you can search up what you're looking for at the nearest aisle. And it recommended me the $5.99 Olay Classic Hydration Cream. Yay! Check. So now we're paying, and the total is twenty six twenty. <laughs> Do you think that was a good haul? Yes. So obviously, I started by going to Target, and then I looked around, but I didn't find anything until I found this. So I got it, and I bought it. I went to Target. I got the Crest charcoal paste to whiten your teeth, and I'm gonna take a risk to damage my teeth with charcoal to see if it works. So let's get to it. So I used the toothpaste for three days. This is day one and I feel like it went pretty decently. The results were in the middle, but I feel like the reason for that was because I only used it once when the instructions told me to use it twice a day. I was scared to like damage my teeth with the charcoal. That's why I only use that toothpaste once a day and then I just use my regular toothpaste. But I feel like besides that, it went pretty well. Like I do see a small difference, but I feel like to rate target with this product, it would be like in the middle. You'll have to try it yourself to see because everybody's different.
Thank you for watching the Verdugo Rundown. Until next time. Thank you.